All right, so we're going to look at how to properly link objects so we don't get a scaling issue. So right now I have three copies of an object and they have been converted into an edible poly. This one I'm not going to scale at all. This one I'm just going to go in and start scaling some of these objects at um, object level, not at sub-object level. So if I just go and add some changes here, when I link these, I'm just going to go to my link tool and I'm going to link the child to its parent and just work my way down the chain. And I'm going to do it to this one, which has not been scaled. And we'll take a look at the difference when we rotate. So with this first one, I'm just going to come into the sphere and rotate. And I'll go down to the stick and rotate. And you'll see we're getting our rotation values. I do have my pivot points at the point of the rotation. So with this one where we've done some scaling, if I go in and I select to rotate, we will get some deformation on these shapes. So if I come down here, it's not real clear. There it is. So when I rotate to a certain angle, you'll start to see that it takes the scale value and translate it into the rotation. So we're getting that deformation. So the best way to do your rotation, and I'm just going to take and delete all this, is with an object that's been edited in sub-object mode, or you have to reset the X form before you parent. So we'll do this over here. So I'm just going to take and duplicate all this. So we have two copies and we can look at the two ways to do it. So with this one, again, we're at object level. We're not in sub-object level. And I'm going to go and scale this. So let's scale this out. And I'll scale this. And again, if we were to rotate, you'll get that scaling value in. So before we parent, I should reset the X form. So you want to make sure reset X form is selected and then reset selection. And we want to do this for each of these objects. So if you find that you accidentally scaled out of sub-object mode, you want to go and reset your X form for everything. And now when we go and we link this parent chain, so we're going to go from child to parent, child to parent, child to parent. And then when we look at our chain, you'll see that our cylinder is the base level, and then we move down. Now when we do our rotation, it won't grab that value, and it will not translate that up through the chain. But the best way to do our values is to not at all um, scale when we're not in sub-optic mode. So for this one, if I come in and I go into something like polygon mode, even though it's on crossing window, it doesn't select. Um, if I go and I scale and I make sure I'm in a different mode, so I'll do the same sort of scale. We won't have that same problem. So we'll come down and do the same thing with this guy. way. And now when we do our parenting, I can do my rotations without worrying about the object scaling and having that issue. So that's just something to be aware of when we're doing our parent-child and our scale factor. So again, Whenever you're scaling an object, make sure you're in sub-object mode. If you are not in sub-object mode, before you link your parent-child, you want to go and reset your X-form for each object. And then when you 
go to do your rotation, it will not factor in the scale. So you won't have that deformation.